Good morning, microbytes, and welcome to another session. Um, in today's session, we are going to be creating a game for the microbit. Um, we are using makecode.microbit.org, and <laughs> I'm working from home, so you might hear my ch my children from time to time. Um, so this is what we're creating. Uh, this little game. Let's see if I can reset that. And you've got a little sprite there that fires, um, and you're trying to destroy the enemies as they come down the screen. All right, so that's what we're creating today. Okay, so we're going to do this in a couple of parts. The first part is um, setting up the um, our sprite and being able to shoot. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project, and we'll call it what, Space Shooter. Space Shooter, yep. And there we go. It's running a bit slow this morning. Here we are. Right, so the first thing I want you to do is um, if you click on this advance here, you'll drop down some extra drawers, and that will show you. I'm not sure why this is running so slowly. Never mind. Um, it will show you the game draw which we'll be using a lot today um, but the first thing we need to do is create a new variable and we're going to create a variable called ship which is us okay um, and we'll grab sh set ship to hmm, that didn't work oops yes it did it's just really slow and what I want to do is we're going to grab something out of here and create sprite at position and pop that inside here. There you go. Okay, so set ship to create sprite at x2. And currently it's x2, y2, which puts it right in the middle. Now, bearing in mind that the rows, there you go, when you mouse over each pixel, it tells you what, what it is. Um, so the rows start at um, 0 across the top and 0, so y0 down here and x0 across the top. Um, so it's 0, 1, 2, and 0, 1, 2. Now we actually want the our sprite to be at the bottom because that's where we want to sit to be able to move across the bottom to be able to shoot things that are going to come down from the top. So we want him at two across, so zero, one, two, but we want it down the bottom here. So it's two, four, as you can see um, on my mouse over there. Let's change that to a four. Okay. Uh, next, we want to be able to move our ship. So we're going to add in some buttons. I'll just chuck this down here. Um, in our case, what we're doing is we're going to create a paper circuit with the micro bit um, to sort of create a bit of a uh, arcade type thing. Um, so instead of using buttons, we're going to use on pin. I'm pin pressed, and on pin zero, we uh, want to move the ship, so we're going to go down to our game stuff, and we want to go change by X, this one here. Um, and we want to, so X is always across. I will change sprite to ship because that's what we're talking about. Um, and P0, we're going to actually say is negative one. And again, so just cop 
copy, copy him, and say P1, then 1, and it's just going to go the opposite direction. There you go. So over on our um, example here, so pin 0 should make it move left, and pin 1 will make it move right. Oops. Okay, so now we've got a moving ship, so that's a good start. Now we want to be able to shoot, because later on we're going to add in some aliens. So we're going to want this to shoot. Um, so on pin 2, so the final pin, which is this one here, um, we want to go... On pin 2 pressed... Um, we want to create a variable called shoot. Variable, make a variable called shoot. Or you could call it bullet or shot or whatever you wish. Um, and we're going to tell it to do this to create a shoot or a bullet, a shot, I probably could have, should have called it shot actually, never mind. Um, and create sprite. Now this is going to get a little bit tricky because we want to create it at, at the ship. So we want it to come out of the ship. So we want to grab another one, and we want to say uh, Sprite X, here we are. And copy him again. And we want to call this at the ship. And then ship. So therefore, we're setting the shot, or shoot, <laughs> the shoot sprite, at the ship's x coordinate and the ship's y coordinate. So in other words, it's going to originate from the ship. Um, right. And what we want it to do is we want the the shot. I really call it. Should have should have called it shot. Never mind. We want the shot to. Uh, make uh, four movements up the screen because it's going to start from here and it's going to move one, two, three, four upwards. So moving four times, um, the shot or shoot. Um, change by yep, that's what we want. This one here. And of course, we want to change that to ship. Ah, oh, sorry, no, not shoot this time. Change the shoot by Y because we want it to move up and down. We don't want it to move across. We want it to move on the Y axis and we want it to go uh, negative one to go upwards because. If it was positive, it would move downwards. If we go negative, it moves in, uh, in uh, upwards. It's sort of reverse psychology a little bit there. Um, and we need to, can't do it sort of invisibly quickly. We need it to sort of be visible. So we need to say at which speed. Sorry. Speed and just over a bit of trial and error, we decided that 150 was a good speed. Um, right, so now when we press pin 2, it shoots. However, now when we shoot, the shot sits at the top of the screen, it doesn't go anywhere, so we need to get rid of it when it's finished firing. So we need to say an if statement. Um, oh, that's what we want. Yeah, we want an F. And we want another logic. Grab one of these 
these blocks here, just in there. And we also want the And that's the shot. Right, so now we're saying if the shot, or oh shoot, <laughs> is if the shot's y axis is equal to or less than zero, which can't really be less than zero, but if just in case, just to solve any outside issues. Um, so if it's less than or equal to zero, um, then we want it to delete. We want it to disappear. So we're going to say delete the shot. Delete shoot. Okay. And that should come right in a second. There we go. So now when we fire, it will fire up and disappear. So it appears that it's going off the screen. Okay, that brings us to the end of this session. And if you click on the link, um, it will take you to part two, where we add in some enemy spaceships coming down to attack us. Oh no! Um, and we'll also add in a scoring mechanism as well. Excellent, and we'll see you in the next video. See you later.